Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Herbert and in this video we're going to be requesting a Let's Encrypt certificate with CertBot. Now before we start, uh, there's a few things you need to make sure that you have in order before you start actually requesting these certificates. First of all, make sure that whatever domain name you need a certificate for is pointing to the server that you're requesting this from. So right now we are going to be requesting a uh, certificate for a domain name and also for a subject alternate name, also known as a SAN. And that SAN is going to be like a secondary domain or a secondary domain name uh, or subdomain name uh, that points to that exact same server, but also needs to have certificate validation. Uh, and this a good example of this is like, like yourdomainname.com or www.yourdomainname.com. So we're going to be needing uh, both because some people still use www. Some people uh, just use the domain name to go to a specific web, web server. Uh, so we need to make sure that that's all OK. Now, first of all, we're going to need to install CertBot. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do sudo uh, apt install CertBot. And if you're running on a Red Hat based machine, you're going to be using a different uh, package manager like yum. But I believe it's just the same, just like sudo yum install certbot. All right. OK, so it's installed now. And now we can actually just run the command. But first of all, make sure that any service running on port 80 is shut down. So let's say that you're running Apache or something like that. You're going to need to shut down that service because uh, that port 80 is in use and we're going to be using the HTTP challenge. You could also use a DNS challenge, but it's a lot more cumbersome to do like automatic renewables and things like that. So make sure that you don't have that service running. So you can check that by, for example, uh, if you do system C system CTL status uh, Apache 2, for example, we know that Apache 2 isn't running on this machine because I didn't install it. But if you would be running an Apache server or an Nginx server, any type of uh, service that's running on port 80, make sure you shut that down first because otherwise um, CertBot is not going to be able to bind itself to that port uh, because it's already in use. With that out of the way, uh, I have the command right here. So we're going to be using uh, the CertBot tool that, the, that we just installed. So uh, this is a lot to digest, so I'll just go over it real quick. So we're going to be doing sudo certbot. We're going to be requesting the cert only uh, standalone and then preferred challenges. It's going to be HTTP. And then the domain names will be certificate demo.herbertcheck.com. This is just like a uh, test domain that I created. And then the uh, second one is going to be www.certificate-demo.herbertcheck.com. Now, what this is going to be doing is it's going to be creating the files, but it's not going to be configuring anything. Now, there are ways to do this automatically for, let's say, Apache, uh, but I wanted to make this video like an all-round approach where you can just have the certificates and not have it only be for like Apache, for example. Um, we're also going to be doing the uh, automatic renewal once we requested this. Uh, but for now, we're just going to be requesting the certificates, and this shouldn't be any problem. We should be able to just run this. Uh, and now it's going to ask us for an email address. I'm just going to put something random in here. You can put your own email address in here, of course, because you'll get email notifications that your certificate is going to expire soon. So that's really, really handy. So for this, it's just something I'll just do test at uh, testing.com. Uh, we'll do yes. Uh, yeah, sure. You can send an email to that email address. Nobody's going to read it. But anyway. There we go. That's how long it takes. It's already done. And have a look at the output here. So we have a certificate file that's saved over here. So that's the full chain.pem. And then key is saved at this over here. So that's the private key. And that private key is going to be very important. Basically, the certificate is the actual certificate that you see when you visit a website and it's like SSL verified. You know, the little lock icon you have over uh, somewhere, like like we did with this project over here, we have this little lock. So this is the actual certificate here. And then the key is going to be that private key, and this should never leave your server. There are some exceptions where you have to uh, move the private key around sometimes. You know, I'm not going to say that it's like a no-go 
But generally speaking, you should leave that key on the server where it was, uh, where when you did the request from, right? And it says over here that this certificate expires on uh, 2023, 12th of May. Uh, and then also it says that CertBot has set up a scheduled task to automatically renew this certificate in the background. Now, of course, you're probably wondering, like, where is this scheduled task? I can't see it anywhere. And usually when you schedule a task, you should see it in, like, uh, in the, the cron tab, right? So you should be able to... Uh, uh, you should be able to do like cron tab minus e and we'll do uh, nano doesn't really matter and you should see this uh cron tab file here and there should be like an extra entry over here but that's not how certbot does it by uh, when you install it through apt instead whoops of course yeah i'm not <laughs> uh i'm not running in vim there we go so where you can actually find this, you can just do systemctl list timers. And then if you go to the right over here, we'll see that this certbot.timer is in here and that activates the certbot.service. And if we go into certbot.service, uh, let's do sudo, uh, no, let's do systemctl status certbot.service. It should say that it's uh, loaded, but it's inactive. So we'll see here uh, what this actually does. So we'll do vim. I'll go into this uh, thing over here. And it will just do this. That's all what it, it will do. And it's, it's like a one-shot service. So it's not going to be running in the background, but it's actually a service that just runs uh, a third bot renew in the background quietly. And it does this. Let's go back here. Uh, whoops. It does this every six hours or so, I believe. So we have six hours left here. And the certbot.timer, so that's what it actually does. So it's just a one-shot service. It just runs once and it automatically renews your uh, certificates. So that's all you, all you should do. And you could maybe just remove this service or just remove this timer as well. Uh, that's a possibility and you can just use your own crontab file. So uh, crontab um, is going to be something that you maybe have a little bit more control over, but you know, using the systemd timer, I think it's already a very good solution. So that's about it. Now you have your certificate and you have your key. And you can use this for any type of application. I'm using it for an Apache server that I'm running. Uh, I kind of like using the certificates by themselves rather than using the automatic uh, Apache uh, configuration uh, of the certbot tool. But you know, that's personal preference. And also, again, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is like an like an, an all-round approach. Uh, this is something that you can use for any type of application. Uh, so it's not only for Apache, right? So you just have your certificate files and then you can start using them uh, the way you want to. So that's about it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.